Hi, welcome to Raw Math. Today I'm doing a series of videos on lines, graphs, and function notation. This video, I'm going to do a couple of examples where I connect function notation with the graph. In this first one, it says translate the following statements into coordinates, then plot them. Okay, so the thing I like about function notation, it looks like multiplication, it isn't. It's just telling us our input and our output. So for this first one, the ordered pair is negative 5, 1. For the second one, it's just 3, negative 2, 0, 6, and negative 4, 0. So if I were to plot these, I would plot negative 5, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 3, negative 2, 0, 6, and negative 4, 0. It says, what is the domain and range? So domain is the set of all x values. In this case, because there's four dots, it's literally like a grocery list. It's listing off the four x values. My x values are negative 5, 3, 0, and negative 4. I use these curly brackets because it's a set notation and it's the set of these four values. For my range, it's my y values, that's it. What four y values, what four values hit the y axis? And we have one, negative two, six, and zero. You don't have to write them in order. You can if you want to. All right, for my second example, this one, I'm gonna do this a little bit differently, where instead of writing the ordered pairs, I'm gonna get the information from the graph. So f of negative four, so if x is negative four, what is y? So we come up for the x is negative 4, we come up and we see we cross right here at 10, 11, 12. So 12. In other words, 4, negative 4, 12 is a point on this graph. f of negative 2, 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 2 crosses right here at 6. In other words, negative 2, 6 is a point on this graph. Negative 2.8, 1, 2.8, that's about right there. If I follow it up. Nope, I'd say this is better. And that's 11. So negative 2.8 comma 11 is a point on the graph. Now this says find x when f of x equals zero. That means y is zero. Well, y is zero all along this line. Well, y is zero here, here, and here. So x can equal negative five meaning negative five, zero is a point on the graph. X could equal negative one, meaning negative one, zero is a point on the graph. Or X could equal zero, meaning zero, zero could be a point on the graph. It says find X when F of X is 12. Well, 10, 11, 12. 12 is this line. One, two, three, it's three points again. Okay, so we have X equals negative four. We have X equals one, two, three, negative three, and we have x equaling one. I could write these as ordered pairs. I don't have to, it's actually not part of the directions. Domain, so the implied graph implies there's arrows. Domain and range, on my last example, the domain was five distinct points. In this case, x, is including all of these points, and this arrow implies that it's gonna go forever to the left towards negative infinity. This arrow right here means it's gonna go forever to the right to positive infinity, which means the domain, and you can write it a lot of ways. You can say the set of all real numbers with a double bar R. You can actually say all real. My favorite is interval notation, negative infinity to positive infinity. The range, in this case, this arrow implies that it goes forever down to negative infinity. This arrow implies it goes forever up to positive infinity. So again, our range can be any of those three answers implying all real values of y. So you have a very discrete example, a very open example, and there's many different examples in between. All right, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my Facebook page, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.